What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Rochelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are the bomb.com. Now, in today's video, I am coming in with a cash unstuffing, a cash stuffing, and a budget check-in to show you guys how I manage my money even while on the go. If you've been watching my last couple of videos, you know that I am currently traveling. And when we travel, we tend to stay gone for a long time. And using cash just helps me to stay responsible with my money and know exactly what's going on. So if that's something you want to see, then stick around. Now, full disclaimer, I do still use my credit card. Um, and then I reimburse myself via cash to make sure I cover all my expenses. Also, any major travel expenses such as flights, hotels, hotels or resorts or car rentals or anything like that has already been paid for. This is just the money I am using to cover my spending for myself and my family of three. The money that I'm going to be showing you guys today is money that I have in my possession. It does not include money that I've already given to my husband or to my daughter and we kind of just make it work because we don't like to carry a lot of money on us um, in our day to day, but we like to kind of see what where the day takes us. Like today we're going to the movies, so I'm gonna be using a different type of currency and I'm gonna be carrying more money than I normally would, but that's just to cover the cost of tickets and everything. So here we go. Oh, I already took the cash envelopes out. That's my wallet. <laughs> I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. So um, I cannot wait. For them to come in but it is going to be sold in two colors red and black and more colors on the way i forgot i already took out the cash envelopes <laughs> so here we go first up is tips it has ten dollars left hubby and eva ten dollars then mine, I also have $10, and I think the rest of these are empty. Yep, empty. So we have a total of five, 10, 15, 20, 25, $30. And normally I would restuff these, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll share with you why in a minute. But first, let's go ahead and put this money back and give it a new job. So normally, I would flip that money and put it into a savings challenge, but I did not bring my savings challenges with me. That's just way too much going on. So this is the only cash binder I brought with me. This is my travel binder. So since we have $25 left, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, oh, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to just reallocate it to the areas that I think we are spending the most in based on what we have left to do in our trip. So tips is looking a little low. Okay, so I only have 15 left here. So let's go ahead and double it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Airports, we have a couple of, couple of, couple more airports, 5, 10, 15, 20. $25, $30. We have a long layover, so I'm gonna put the rest here to cover a meal, a cheap meal for my husband and I and Eva. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, $45. That should cover one meal. We almost have like a layover, overnight layover. And basically I keep the American coins in here and the Mexican coins in here. You hear my allergies, y'all. It's doing what it does oh so before we close this up let's go ahead and do a cash stuffing so I do have some money that I brought with me to stuff as I go kind of just to make sure I always have content to share with you guys and this is also how I always like divvy my money out so that I don't start the trip off on day one with like a huge amount of money and then by day three or five I'm out of money. So this tends to work well for me. So I take the money and I just kind of split it up into what makes sense based on what we're gonna be doing for our trip. And I highly recommend you do the same if you're traveling. It doesn't matter if it's for just the weekend or if it's for a month long, make sure you navigate and do what makes sense for you. Okay, so this is the last restuff that I'll be doing. Well, cash stuffing that I will be doing um, on the go while I'm international. So we have a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. Oh, look at that. 
180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, even. So, you no, know, we gotta making it work, y'all, on a TV tray, okay? At my mama house, at my, at my in laws house. We making it, these videos happen, okay? And she don't play about content because she is a YouTuber. Also, check out her channel, Mama Jenny's Mexican Journey, to see what we've been doing. I always have the link on, um, on my page so you can see. Okay, this 20, I put it in the back because, yeah, I'm not spending that. Okay, so just so you know, any money that I have left over will be given a new job once I get home. This is just how we keep it moving. We don't care that we traveling. We still cash stuffing, baby. Okay. So normally I would stuff these into my envelopes um, that I keep on me, my everyday carry wallet, my red wallet with those cash envelopes from Shonversation. But since I'm international and I'm using pesos only, I'm going to go ahead and stuff into these categories. So first up, I'm going to take 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 dollars. I'm going to skip actually travels because I'm done working for business this trip. I have some small assignments left, that no but nothing that will cost money. And we're going to add it to our eating out. So now we have a total of 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 305, 310, 315, 320, 325 dollars. Low key, I am prepping for when we get back home and we have no groceries in the house and we need to pay for eating out or DoorDash or whatever. This is just how I fall right back in into regular everyday life without having to sacrifice money that's in my bank account because the goal is to let that money pile up and we will deal with that money when we get back so that we can pay bills and just check on our money and give it a new job we're budgeting we're saving we're paying off debt so next is travel miscellaneous i don't think i'm gonna add to this 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 that's enough money also, I just finished filming some content for Instagram and TikTok. I'm back. And for our Facebook group, I have been away, but your girl is back. And so I'm ready to just go ahead and get back to consistently posting. I have enjoyed this break, y'all. I don't have any regrets. I'm sorry I chose me. I had to choose me. No, <laughs> it was family time. And I tend to just work even while I'm vacationing and this trip I was like nope I'm going to spend at least 80% of the time having fun with my family and we had planned for this trip for a very long time and so I have no regrets We're, we are having an amazing time um next up is excursions I think I'm done with excursions for this trip the ten dollars left we'll leave that tips I want to add heavily to 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And that is simply because I'm trying to get ahead for my tips cash envelope wallet that I, is in my everyday carry wallet for when I get back home. See, see, see. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130. I always got to pause like halfway through y'all because I get out of breath. <laughs> That's literally what it is. Okay, airports. We are going to add another $60 to, and this will probably end up being one of those weird layovers where I'm going to leave the airport and I'm, I'm, I just know, like we're going to be renting a car. I just, I need incidental money, but it's still going to be during the time of my layover. So I don't know. I could have put it somewhere else, but we're putting it here. So here we go. Airport says 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 105. How kind of them. Their alarm, car alarm went off and <laughs> they didn't let it keep going. So here is the gas money for the rental car. We're only going to use it for one day. So I feel like $20 is enough to fill it back up. Um, but it is, we'll see, we'll see. And then gift money. So I'm going to put this in here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. And this cute 20, 140 in here. I do have a little bit of spending that I want to do. 
I am on the road to becoming a minimalist and so I don't really buy souvenirs that often but I do want to work on my t-shirt game for Mexico I don't have any t-shirts I think I only have one t-shirt that is like from Mexico so I want to work on that speaking of Mexico we are going to work on this currency because this is what we're switching over to oh and I do have my Texas money also this is the layover state that I'm a little nervous about because I'm going to see family. You know how you show up when you see your family and you see them in a while. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75 dollars there, plus the 105 dollars in our airport money. We are up to almost 200 dollars. So I don't know. When I see my nephews, I kind of lose my mind a little bit. I'm like, let's go shopping. And they're foodies like me, like their auntie, and so. They are taking me to all the good food in Texas. And y'all, you can eat so good for cheap. Oh, you can spend a lot of money or you can spend a little money. You feel me? Okay, so let's talk about now. This is what I am working with. This is what I have left. Plus, I'm going to pull some change out of here. This is the, this is the thing, y'all. When you are traveling internationally... I feel like even when you're traveling stateside, you need to have change. I do not go to the store with $500 pesos. That's just insane. Like, people are like, you don't have anything smaller. It's just like when you go to the market and you try to pay for your groceries with like a $50 bill and it came to $25. They're like, you don't have anything smaller? Same thing. So I put a lot more respect on these coins. They add up. So we're going to take some $10 and $5 ones out because these things have been saving me. Okay, so I'm just taking just a few out. That should be good. I'll even do a couple $2 ones. I have a $1 one. Like these, these pesos add up. <laughs> they add up. Okay. And when I'm walking around, I have just my little change purse. It's all you need. Only flashing a whole lot of change, no whole lot of pesos. And for today, we are going to the movies, so I want to have money to buy movie tickets and food. It's like a whole VIP experience, y'all. Going to the movies in Mexico is like my heart. Going to the movies in Hawaii, it's cute and all, but mm mm, mm mm. Mexico, they come and serve you. It's just a different, it's a vibe. So I'm going to take 2000 plus all the 20s because we are winding down in our trip. So I want to make sure I'm spending pesos only. And all of this will go back into the safe. And we just kind of curl this money up inconspicuously. And that is it. I'm all set for another few days of travel. Thank you for tuning into another video. Thank you guys for always showing me love and coming back to see my next video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace, love, and budgets.